Hello and welcome, I'm Ankit Teja and you are watching Tech It Up. This week, we explain why it is not safe to charge your phone using a public USB charging station. We tell you how AI can help prevent illegal phishing and find out about the future of online delivery. Let's get started. What if I tell you that the way you charge your phone in public places could harm you? You could lose your money, your private data could be at risk. We bring you more details in this report. Many of us use free charging stations to charge our phones, be it in cafes, at airports or other public places. Unfortunately, it's not a good idea to use these freely available USB charging outlets. Why? Because criminals can manage to hijack public chargers. It's been found that USB charging ports at public places are misused by cyber criminals for malicious activities. Understand that a compromised charger can infect your devices with malware and steal data. In other words, if you use a public charger that is infected with malicious software, hackers can steal your passwords, bank details and other confidential data. This practice of using public chargers to infect phones and other devices with malware is called juice jacking. We call it juice jacking technique, where uh, normally criminals, they use a chip and that is placed behind uh, these uh, charging plugs, USB charging plugs. So, I think you should always prefer the normal charging options. You'll, the power plug that we traditionally we use. But if there is a USB socket uh, and you have to charge, then you should look at the screen first that after plugging it, is there any pop-up? Is there something which is happening on the screen? There'll be a risk. There'll definitely be a risk because these things are also getting more sophisticated. It'll be so silently taking data from your device and you may not even realize. So this is possible. This is possible because of uh, some of the vulnerabilities that we have in USB system. The Indian government has issued a cautionary message to mobile phone users. It's warning citizens about the increasing risk of the USB charger scam. People have been advised not to use USB chargers in common public places like malls and hotels. Last year, the Federal Bureau of Investigation warned consumers in the US about such cyber security risks. Well, time and again, government organizations keep warning mobile users about such hacking methods. After all, such warnings at regular intervals help people stay alert. We say the best way to avoid such crimes is by not using public USB outlets at all. If you need to charge your device, plug directly into a traditional outlet using a wall adapter or use a portable power bank. When it comes to online deliveries, we have come a long way. Over the years, e-commerce companies have managed to reduce delivery time significantly. And now an online seller wants to experiment with a rocket-based delivery system. It may sound bizarre, but that's what is happening. Watch this story for more details. Parcels usually take days to arrive at your doorstep. It starts with the dispatch process where your order is prepared and packaged. Then comes the shipping phase when your parcel arrives across land, sea or air. Finally, there's the delivery process. That's when your package makes its last mile journey to your home. Now picture a world where your online orders could reach you anywhere on the planet in less than an hour. Not by trucks or drones, but by rockets. That future might be closer than you think. Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba Group Holding has teamed up with a Chinese rocket developer to deliver parcels globally in under an hour. The experiment will be conducted by Alibaba's Taobao Marketplace and Space Epoch using a reusable rocket called XZY-1. It's reported that the rocket will be able to land on sea. The spacecraft can accommodate 120 square meters of cargo space and can carry up to 10 tons. Simply put, it can carry items such as a car or a small-sized truck. 
Not just that, its makers estimate each rocket can be reused up to 20 times. Currently, offshore tests are being conducted on individual rocket elements. However, the company has admitted that it will not be easy to execute the project in a short term. The idea needs to be explored for a longer period of time. This story is about a technology that has taken the world by storm. I'm talking about artificial intelligence. It can do a lot of things. AI can simplify complex topics. It can aid artists in creative processes. AI tools can help prevent online fraud. And now this cutting edge technology is seen as a solution to tackle the global problem of illegal phishing. Here is how. Phishing is usually seen as a leisure activity. But did you know that there are two types of fishing? There's recreational fishing, which is done for pleasure. And then there's commercial fishing, which involves catching fish in large quantities, mostly from wild fisheries and selling them in the market to make a profit. In 2023, the commercial fishing market size was valued at over $50 billion. It is projected to reach around $82 billion by 2030. Even though the fishing industry is growing at an unprecedented rate, it is also struggling with environmental and welfare issues. Illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, commonly known as IUU, is a pertinent issue across the globe. Illegal fishing threatens the marine ecosystem and puts food security and regional stability at risk. Illegal fishers cheat coastal communities that depend on healthy fish populations for income. But there are more concerns around illegal fishing. It is estimated that illegal and unregulated fishing is responsible for the loss of up to 26 million tons of fish each year. According to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, every year illegal fishing leads to a loss of around $23 billion. Also, some illegal fishing vessels are used for the trafficking of drugs, arms and even people. It is alarming. And you know which are the top countries behind such unscrupulous practices? According to a report by the Global Initiative Against Transnational Organized Crime, Southeast Asia has four of the top five illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing industries in the world. According to the 2021 IUU rankings report, more than 60% of its vessels are involved in illegal and unreported fishing around the world. Beijing also indulges in targeting endangered species. Russia is the only non-Southeast Asian country. It ranks at number four in the list. So the question is, how can we deal with the practice of illegal fishing? Enter technology. Artificial intelligence technology is now being used to prevent illegal fishing. Global Fishing Watch is one such company that is using AI to battle this growing concern. The company was co-founded by Google, marine conservation body Oceana and environmental group SkyTruth. It is using AI and satellite imagery to track the movements of commercial fishing vessels. The AI tool analyzes vast amounts of satellite data to detect vessels and offshore infrastructure. The AI program also makes use of radar sensors and optical imagery to identify vessels that do not broadcast their positions. The company aims to use this advanced AI software to map the movements of over 65,000 commercial fishing vessels worldwide. The use of this technology becomes important as many fishing companies and individuals turn off the GPS-based automatic identification systems of their vessels. Why? So that they can go undetected and even enter restricted water zones. Meanwhile, the University of Southampton is also doing its bit to fight the business of illegal fishing. They are building a submarine robot that uses underwater sensors and AI to identify the sound of fishing. It transmits the information to concerned authorities in real time. 
So, how will this help? Currently, the submarine robot can differentiate between the natural sound of the ocean. It is now being trained to identify the noise of fishing trawlers operating in protected waters. Artificial intelligence is helping various industries around the world, and it is now being used as a weapon to defend the seas from illegal fishing. On Tech It Out, we keep bringing you updates from the world of robotics. It's time to look at an AI-powered robot that can scan the fields in search of sick flowers. Here is more. Meet Theo, a new AI robot. Wondering what it is doing in the fields? Now this new high-tech weapon aims to root out diseases from Dutch tulip fields. This is an example of a sick tulip. You can recognize it by the red stripes on the leaf. Theo trundles along rows of yellow and red tulips. It checks each plant. And when necessary, it kills diseased bulbs to prevent the spread of the tulip-breaking virus. The dead bulbs are removed from healthy ones in a sorting warehouse after they have been harvested. The robot rolls on caterpillar tracks through fields at one kilometer per hour, hunting out the telltale red stripes that form on the leaves of infected flowers. According to robot maker, artificial intelligence helps these smart machines identify sick flowers. With the precise GPS coordinates, robots can pinpoint the flowers that need to be destroyed. The heart of the machine is uh, the knowledge that we put into the AI model. The knowledge comes from tulip farmers, so we, we use the knowledge of the tulip farmers. We combine it into an AI model. And then in the machine, uh, that, that knowledge is used by these three cameras to take the images uh, from three angles uh, the angles are combined to find uh, very precise GPS coordinates of the diseased plants uh, using the GPS antenna on top of the machine. Uh, that GPS coordinate is remembered and as the robot passes, uh, we, we actuate this uh, robot. There's another camera which takes a final image for very precise positioning of the injector. As part of efforts to tackle tulip breaking virus, there are 45 robots patrolling tulip fields across the Netherlands. This story is about online dating. We are not going to tell you about new dating apps. Instead, we will tell you about some modern dating terms that can help you easily navigate the world of romance in 2024. Dating applications have changed the way how we date, pursue relationships and find love. And now these applications are modifying the language of love. We are talking about the modern dating terms that are commonly used by young users, from millennials to Gen Z. It's been discovered that most older singles are not well versed in this dating lingo. According to a Tinder survey, 62% of the Gen Z population feels like they speak a very different language than their parents when it comes to dating. And therefore, we have come up with a dating dictionary. This will make it easier for older singles to understand the new dating slang words. The idea is to encourage cross-generational dating dialogue. Let's look at some of the new age dating terms and see which ones you already knew. The first one on the list is situationship. It's an undefined romantic relationship that exists somewhere between a casual hookup and a committed relationship. In other words, it's casual, undefined and a commitment-free relationship. Have you heard of this term, cushioning? It refers to keeping backup relationships as safety pillows in case the main relationship does not work. 
Cushioning is also described as a situation when someone keeps their romantic options open while dating someone just in case their relationship fails. Next comes kitten fishing. It's a toxic dating trend. Kitten fishing is basically misrepresenting yourself in an online dating profile. It's a strategy when someone changes certain aspects of the personality to appear more attractive to others on the dating application. Unlike catfishing, where a person pretends to be someone else, kitten fishing is when daters use supremely flattering filters, massage vital statistics, and exaggerate accomplishments to increase their chances of finding dates online. As scary as the word sounds, zombieing is a cruel dating trend to describe a situation when someone reinitiates contact with you after disappearing with no explanation. Zombieing is a dating trend you need to shoot at sight because there's nothing good at the end of this particular tunnel. Have you ever been on a date that feels more like an interview? Dates where there are no natural conversations, just one person throwing questions at you. Well, Gen Z calls it a date of you experience. You're on a date, but you get the feeling of being interviewed. Short forms are used for many words in the dating world. One such is Riz. Basically, the word is used to refer to charisma. It's typically used in romance to refer to the effortless ability to attract a potential partner. The last word on our list is stashing. It describes a situation where a person spends long periods of time with a partner but never ends up meeting their friends or family. It's when one person in a relationship makes the conscious decision to hide the partner from their inner circle. Basically, you're being kept a secret like a little treasure stashed away in a drawer. Well, these are some of the common and interesting words doing the rounds on the internet. The list is endless. Someone once said the language of love is universal. But in the day and age of dating applications, we have some reservations about it. Technology may have changed the face of dating, but we do believe the basics of dating have not really changed. Butterflies will always continue to flutter in your stomach and you will always be hopeful to meet that one person who can sweep you off your feet. Motorola has introduced a new smartphone in India. Elon Musk's X has activated the Community Notes program for Indian users. The week gone by was buzzing with a lot of exciting tech developments and we bring you the most important ones in a tech wrap. Motorola has unveiled its new smartphone in India. It is called the Edge 50 Pro. According to the company, the new phone features the world's first AI-powered pro-grade camera validated by Pantone, which means it can capture true-to-life colors the way you see them with your eyes. The phone features a triple camera setup. The smartphone is powered by Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 chipset that boasts powerhouse performance. Interestingly, the phone comes with support for wireless charging. Its new Hello UI is more intuitive and personalized. The phone is introduced in two variants, 8 GB RAM with 256 GB of storage and 12 GB RAM with 256 GB of storage. Prices for the phone start at 31,999 rupees. The smartphone will go on sale from the 9th of April. Elon Musk-owned X has announced the launch of a new fact-checking tool just days before the general elections in India. Called Community Notes, the feature is a crowdsourced fact-checking program. X's Community Notes will be led by contributors. To become a Community Notes contributor in India, X users must meet specific requirements. These contributors will have access to tools to monitor tweets and replies that might be misleading. They are expected to provide more context to popular posts and offer broader insights. Contributors can also leave notes on any post. The new feature will help X users fact-check information circulated on the platform. It could be effective as India heads to the polls this month. 
The community notes feature currently have contributors present in 69 countries. In the United States, California has proposed a new bill that advocates the right to disconnect from calls, texts and emails after work hours. If it is passed, it would mean employees will be able to ignore office-related communication outside of work hours. However, this excludes communication related to emergencies or work schedules. It would also require non-working hours to be established by a written agreement. This bill will allow employees to file a complaint with the California Labor Commissioner in case of any violation. If it goes as planned, California could become the first state in the US to implement this right. Globally, similar laws have already been enacted in 13 countries like Australia, Argentina, Belgium, France, Italy, Mexico, Portugal and Spain. The U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology has developed a technique that can allow smartphones to accurately measure blood glucose levels. Most modern phones come equipped with a magnetometer, a magnetic compass that is used for navigation purposes. The Institute's researchers have repurposed this feature to detect glucose concentrations in human beings. The researchers have emphasized the affordability and simplicity of the technology. OpenAI has released a new tool for cloning people's voice. But the company is holding back on its public release. OpenAI's reluctance is due to concerns about the tool's possible misuse during the election year. Called Voice Engine, the new tool can clone a human voice using just a 15-second audio clip. The technology can generate a convincing clone of anyone's voice. It can even convey emotions and replicate the natural tempo of human speech, making the AI-generated voice sound realistic. The company, however, has decided to delay the rollout of the feature. There are fears that the feature could lead to the spread of disinformation. According to reports, Alphabet's Google is considering charging for premium features on its generative AI-powered search engine. The tech giant is looking at incorporating AI-powered search features into its premium subscription services. It remains to be seen if Google will put its core search product behind a paywall. The tech giant, however, has clarified that its traditional search engine will remain free of charge. Well, that's all we have for you in this episode of Tech It Out. We will continue to bring you exciting inventions and updates on the latest gadgets. I will be back soon. Until then, keep watching Beyond World is One. And yes, don't forget to follow us on social media. For now, it's me, Ankit Uteja, signing off.